In the world of leadership, one name has recently stood out. Brené Brown, a research professor at the University of Houston. With her deep insights into human emotion and behavior, Brené has made a significant mark in the field of social work and psychology. Her work primarily focuses on understanding the concepts of courage, vulnerability, shame, and empathy. Brené isn't just an acclaimed academic, but also a New York Times best-selling author, having written multiple books that have transformed perspectives and sparked conversations worldwide. Among her remarkable repertoire, Dare to Lead, Brave Work, Tough Conversations, Whole Hearts, stands out as a beacon for effective leadership. This book isn't just about leading, it's about leading with vulnerability and courage, about having those tough conversations and showing up with your whole heart. So, if you're ready to delve into the heart of leadership and courage, let's embark on this journey together. Daring leadership starts with rumbling with vulnerability. In this opening chapter, Brene Brown unearths the necessity of vulnerability in leadership. She emphasizes that vulnerability is not about weakness, but rather about courage. The courage to face our fears, to embrace uncertainty, and to stride forward despite the unknown. Leadership, she suggests, is not about having all the answers. Instead, it is about asking the right questions and being open to discovering the answers together. It's about acknowledging that we don't have complete control over the outcomes, and that's perfectly okay. This chapter highlights the importance of embracing discomfort, of stepping out of our comfort zones and daring to be seen in our most authentic selves. Because it's only when we are willing to expose our own vulnerabilities that we can truly lead with empathy and understanding. As Brene Brown puts it, vulnerability isn't about winning or losing, it's having the courage to show up when you can't control the outcome. The second chapter, Living into Our Values, calls us to align our actions with our beliefs. Brene Brown emphasizes that a leader's values aren't just words on a page. They are the guiding principles that drive decision-making and action. They are the compass that directs us when the path ahead is unclear. They are the yardstick by which we measure our actions and their repercussions. And yet, it's not enough to merely hold these values. Leadership, in its most effective form, requires us to live these values, to embody them in our daily interactions, decisions, and behaviors. It's about making the tough calls when they align with what we believe in, even when it's not the easiest or most popular route. It's about demonstrating integrity, not just in the big moments, but in the small, everyday choices that accumulate to define who we are as leaders. In essence, to be a daring leader, one must live and breathe their values in every decision and action. In the third chapter, Braving Trust, we learn about the power of trust in leadership. Braving trust is more than a concept. It's a practice, a daily habit that we cultivate. Brene Brown emphasizes that trust isn't something that is given freely, it's earned. She walks us through the importance of understanding that trust is built in small moments, not grand gestures. It's about consistency, not intensity. It's showing up time and time again, proving your reliability, your honesty, your integrity. It's demonstrating your commitment to your team, your project, your vision every day. Trust is also about vulnerability. It's about allowing your team to see your humanity, your own struggles and uncertainties. It's about showing that you too are learning and growing. This opens up a space for them to do the same, fostering an environment of mutual trust and respect. Trust then is not a luxury, but a necessity for daring leadership. The final chapter, Learning to Rise, teaches us about resilience in the face of adversity. Brené Brown emphasizes that failure is not the end, but rather a stepping stone in the journey of leadership. It's about dusting off the dirt and learning to rise again, stronger and more determined. Brown tells us that leaders are not those who never fail, but those who refuse to give up when they do. She explains that resilience is not a trait that we have or don't have, 
It involves behaviors, thoughts, and actions that can be learned and developed in anyone. In a world where we're often judged by our successes, Brown encourages us to embrace our failures as they are the key to building resilience. She reminds us that falling is part of the journey and it's the courage to rise after a fall that truly defines our leadership. After all, in the words of Brene Brown, we can't rise if we're not willing to fall. Brene Brown's Dare to Lead is a gold mine of insights on daring leadership. Let's take a stroll down memory lane and revisit the pivotal points from each chapter. Our journey began with rumbling with vulnerability, where we learned that vulnerability is not a weakness, but a strength. It's the birthplace of innovation, creativity, and change. The courage to be vulnerable transforms the way we live, love, parent, and lead. Next, we delved into living into our values. Here, Brown underscored the importance of identifying our core values and aligning our actions with them. This alignment is crucial because when our actions and values are in sync, we are authentic and authenticity fosters trust and respect. Then we navigated through the realm of braving trust. Trust isn't an all or nothing proposition. It's built in small moments, like a marble jar slowly filling up. Brown introduced us to her BRAVING acronym, which stands for Boundaries, Reliability, Accountability, Vault, Integrity, Non-Judgment, and generosity. These are the seven elements that make up trust. Lastly, we ascended to learning to rise. Here, we discovered that falling isn't the end of the world. It's the beginning of resilience. Brown taught us that when we own our stories of struggle, we can write a brave new ending. Let's tie it all together now. Brene Brown's Dare to Lead illustrates that effective leadership requires the courage to be vulnerable the authenticity to live according to our values, the wisdom to build trust, and the resilience to rise again and again. These aren't just leadership skills. They're life skills. They're the building blocks of daring leadership, empowering us to step into the arena and lead with whole hearts. So, dare to lead. Be brave, be vulnerable, trust, and always, always rise.